The Battle of Firas occurred with the Romans and Sassanids collaborating against the rising Rashidun Caliphate under Caliph Abu Bakr. His best general, Khalid bin al-Walid, led the first phase of the conquest of the Sasanian Empire, and Firas was its last one. However, the context was unclear, and there were differing opinions as to when, who, and how the battle was fought. So, what was the Battle of Firas? Find out today on Roman History. It was the end of the byzantine sasanian War of 602-628. With Khosrow II overthrown and assassinated, his son Kawad II took the throne. Eastern Roman Emperor Heraclius made peace, and both sides returned to the status quo. For the next four years, the Sasanians suffered a civil war that ended with the coronation of the last Sasanian Shah Yazdegerd III. Meanwhile, the Muslim prophet Muhammad spread his new religion in the Arabian Peninsula and united it until he died in 632 AD. Abu Bakr became the first caliph, but some Arab tribes rebelled due to seeing him as weak, which started the Ridda Wars. However, Abu Bakr successfully defeated them. In March 633, he chose Khalid bin al-Walid to lead the attack against the Sasanian Empire, specifically lands that were once held by the Lakhmid Kingdom. It contained a significant Christian Arab population, and the capital, Al-Hira, was its administrative center. He had a series of successes against the Sassanids and their Christian Arab allies, but it was notable that their relations were contentious. Khalid exploited the situation to his advantage. Finally, he used flanking maneuvers and double envelopments to defeat their armies. Firas was at the border between the Byzantines and the Sasanians. On the Roman side, they had forces in al salahiyah which led to the plausibility of the Romans aiding their rival in battle. On the Sasanian side, they had Alain, Alanbar, and Alfirid also known as Firas. In addition, it was in desert terrain, which favored Khalid's cavalry flanks, ambushes, and double envelopments. Khalid bin al-Walid led 15,000 against the Roman Sasanian force with roughly at least parity or slightly outnumbered the Muslims. The coalition was at the north of the bridge, and Khalid allowed them to cross due to retreating his forces, which was bait for a pitched battle. They walked through the bridge and attacked the Muslims, but they held them back. Khalid sent part of his cavalry to block him, and his other cavalry outflanked the coalition. As a result, they fell back due to these two maneuvers and lost many troops either by killing or drowning on the Euphrates River. Khalid suffered minimal losses. While Altabari stated the coalition had 150,000 lost 100,000, those were exaggerated to make the Muslim victory more spectacular than it was. After the battle, he stayed at Firas for 10 days before returning to al -Hira. Soon, he got a message from Caliph Abu Bakr to go to Syria to fight the Eastern Roman Empire. Some scholars had differing opinions of this battle. First, there were disagreements on its existence. While Peter Crawford agreed that it occurred but doubted the Roman presence, Lt. Gen. Aga Ali Ibrahim Akram and UCLA history professor Dr. Michael Gregory Maroney concurred on the event. Iranian-born American professor Dr. Parvana Porshariati believed that it transpired in 630 because Heraclius and Sasanian Shah Shabraz collaborated since the post-siege of Constantinople of 626. She understood the Hijri calendar mostly contradicted the events. However, some completely rejected it like 19th-century Italian scholar Leon Caetani. Others had no mention like scholar of Byzantine studies and Professor Dr. Walter Kagi and Islamic scholar and Professor Dr. McGraw Donner, but German historian Dr. Albrecht Noth referred to the battle as a Muslim raid, second, how would Khalid get to Syria in 634? The forces at Firas could not be ignored, so he had to fight them. However, there is a disagreement as to whether the battle was in Firas or at Mutah in 629 against the Eamons and Ghassanid Arabs. My view on the battle was that Khalid participated in the Battle of Firas in the early winter of 633 to 634. Due to the close proximity between the border of the Romans and Sasanians, it was plausible that both fought together against the Muslims. 
The cavalry tactic was characteristic of his generalship and exploited desert terrain. However, I could understand it might occur in 630 due to Heraclius and Shabra's collaboration against Khosrow II in 627 and 628. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.